They know something bad is going on. So you do a good talk. That the Lancastrian army is going to maybe march upon their town on their way towards London. And what the Lancastrians have been doing, because Margaret of Anjou has been telling them they're allowed to, is they've been going through the towns of the north and raping, looting and pillaging. Londoners have got a bit worried about this. There's talk that some of them are actually displaying the Beaufort portcullis on their front doors. They say, please don't attack us. The Yorkist army doesn't want the Lancastrian army to get to London. And they've taken five days to march to St Albans, which they're going to do the Chanting and he's going to be drawing up his men in the house on the street of St Albans. He's going to be wearing the red and white of the house of Montague. And with him, I believe, are the Lovelaces, a very, very loyal group to the Yorkshire school. I'm moving myself to a place of safety as well. And the Yorkist troops are going to be defending the streets. They're going to be lining themselves up, maybe in two large, long arrays. And I believe, I, I hear intelligence now that the Lancastrian troops have been sighted over behind us towards what we would now see as the windmill. So the Yorkist troops are forming up, facing out of St Albans, basically, which sounds a bit strange to me, because I thought they were coming from over there. Maybe there's something else. No doubt about it in my mind. Are they want to be? The enemy is definitely coming from that direction. You have intelligence on this, sir. They're over there somewhere, hiding in the grass. Like the cows in the grass. Hiding in the grass, just beyond the window. Thank you, sir. They're a sneaky bunch, aren't they, those Lancastrians? Oh, they, they're definitely there. They have good intelligence that the Lancastrians are actually approaching St Albans from the that side. My right. But it's all gone horribly quiet. That still before the storm. They are definitely over there. Okay, I just remind you a health and safety announcement. If you are st sitting, that's it, between the two barriers, please could you move yourselves back. Ladies and gentlemen, please could you move yourselves behind the first barrier. It's not us being mean, it's just that there's going to be arrows flying, and there's going to be serious weaponry going on and we don't want anyone getting hurt. So if you make, your, make sure that your feet, your toes, all the bits of you that are important are just behind the barrier. Can anybody see them? They are definitely over there! What, over there? Over there! Over there! Down there! Just, just behind the grass! I can't see him! <laughs> oh no, he isn't! <laughs> yes. I think it's a very very wise move moving from over there, ladies, 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 because you may get run over by the Lancastrian army in a moment. Does the artillery have intelligence that the army doesn't? No, we're just protecting the rear. He's protecting the rear, apparently. He's good at protecting the rear. <laughs> and you'll notice they've got cow chops to stop the horses. They've got sharpened staves. They've got uh, pikes, pieces of wood that sharpen at both ends and stuck in the ground. So if any horses run towards them, you'll get the horse in the belly, in the unprotected part. If the horse steps on a cow chop, it's a nasty pointy thing that has spikes going in three different directions. It'll lame the horse. But also, if one of the men stands on it, it'll do the same to them as well. So they're totally prepared for the Lancastrian attack. Lost the king. And they also appear to have lost the king, Henry VI. We're somewhat confused at this point in time. Rumour has it he's hiding under a tree, singing to himself. This is genuine over there, and the enemy are over there. Henry VI did actually spend the second or of St Albans sitting under a tree, singing to himself, being protected by two of his loyal men. And give Morel and Bonvert. Has anybody seen the king? We were supposed to be looking after him. 
does appear to have run off. He is a lot of He's getting old. He's only a boy. <laughs> We're talking about different keys, sir. <coughs> I'm talking about the one that's under the tree. Is he singing? He's not even there. <laughs> I think you might be behind the hedge. It's behind the hedge. It's behind the hedge. It's behind the hedge. Is it good asking what he's doing behind the hedge? I don't know. Is everybody having a good time then? Keep your mouth open. Don't put your fingers in your ears because it will actually make it hurt more. Keep your mouth gently open. As they say, periods of uh, brief excitement followed by periods of intense boredom. Guess which one this is? This is the exciting bit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't tell anybody. I can see an army over there. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, I can see an army. This concerns me somewhat. Now bear in mind it's February. February the 17th. It's snowing. It is as cold as Christmas, if not more so. This will have quite a lot of impact on the actual battle itself. But the snow will stop the Yorkist guns working. It'll put the snow match out. It will actually put their own arrows. It'll blow them back towards them. So is that they're going to find it very, very difficult to defend some albums. I can't see them because of the snow. Gentlemen, 